What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here, and in today's tutorial I'm going to be modeling the McDonald's building in Revit. So last night I was watching the movie Founder, and it's an amazing movie, you should definitely watch it. And there I saw this uh, McDonald's building that they built, I think it was the second McDonald's building, and I, I was amazed by the by the architecture, so I decided to model this in Revit today just to do a quick kind of a Revit gameplay tutorial for you guys. And before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot, and if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. Okay, so I didn't have the dimensions for this building, so I had to use some advanced trigonometry just to get some basic dimensions from this image I found online. So I've established some basic dimensions, so now let's model it in Revit. So here I am, I'm just going to be using the architectural template, and before I do anything, I'm just going to hit UN and set units to meters, so UN is for project units, and now let's just go to south elevation, and here let's set this at, I don't know, 3.5 meters, and then let's go to level, or just hit LL for level, and do another level over, over here, and this one should be at around, let's say, 5.25 meters. Okay, so once we have these three L levels, let's go back into a level one, and now the dimensions of the building are like this. So I'm just going to do a rectangle, kind of like that, and for this dimension I'm going to do 10 meters, and for this dimension I'm going to do 15. Yeah, it's already at 15. And let me just place this like this in the center of the screen. Now I'm just going to go to architecture and hit WA for wall or you can just use the wall command, whatever you decide. And then I'm just going to use this rectangle, make sure to connect it to level 2 and just do a rectangle over here kind of like this. So this is kind of the, the service area I guess that's off limit to the customers. This is the... I don't know, this is the kitchen I guess. Okay, so this is the, the kitchen part, and then do another create similar, or just WA for wall, and make sure that this one is unconnected, and it's about 1 meter high. And then I'm going to offset it from here, like 1.8 meters, do something like this, I guess, and then go like that. Now, to get the, the same distance over here, just go DM for draw mirror, go from the middle of here, create a mirror line and then just let's just trim and extend. So if I go into 3D now this is kinda what I get. So you get something that looks like this. And you can go into level 1 maybe extend this a bit maybe towards here. I don't know, kinda like that. Okay so once we have these walls now we need to do the the roof. The roof is the main part, the, the hardest part I guess. So how do you create the, the roof for this building? So what you need to do is you need to go here into, let's go to level 2, okay, and go to massing and site, go in place mass, just close out of this, let's just call this roof, and here we are, in place mass. Now I'm just going to go to south elevation, and here we have this level 2, that's okay, we're going to be using that one, then go here to reference plane, and just create a reference plane going kind of like this, from level 1 to level 2. To le from level 2 through to level 3, kind of at this angle, and call this plain, play, pla, pl, plain 1, and let's use this plane offset and give it an offset of 0.5 meters, and let's just call this one number 2, I don't care. Okay, so once we have these two, and we have this one level 2, so we go to level 2, and just go here to rectangle, just a simple model line, make sure it says here draw on work plane, and then we need to set the work plane, and set it at level 2, hit OK, and go with, make sure that it's again, draw on work plane, the 3D snapping is off, and then just create a rectangle that's kind of offset a bit, so let's give it an offset of 0.3, kind of like this, and go from this corner over here, up to this corner, imaginary corner that we're going to get over here. Okay, so you get something that looks like this, and extend it a little bit. Oops, not that. 
So you just hit tab, select this one, and this one should be at the same distance as this was. So this uh, this was 1.8, I think, plus this 0.3, that's what, 2.1. So 2.1 over here. So we have the same distance here as we have here. That's the, that's the point. Okay, so once we have this, then go to site plan. So just go site, and then go here to set work plane, and make sure to set it at plane 1. And now go to rectangle and let's go with a simple rectangle over here, kind of like this. Now you select it and you select the side and you offset it by, I don't know, something like, let's do two meters. I think that's fine. And let's do two meters here as well. Just make sure that it's the same distance you have over here. And now if you go into 3D, this is what you get. And now let's go back to site plan and go create another rectangle or use pick lines and then for reference plane choose reference plane 2 and just hit tab to select all of these hit OK and now if we go into 3D this is what we get so we, ha we have these two rectangles at an angle and one over here that's not angled so you select the, the normal one you select the lower angled one and you go create form you get this so you select the upper one just hit tab a couple of times and you select the the upper one and you go create form you get this thing and now we need to so we have the roof and now we need to create the glass so how do you do the glass you go here to level one or sorry level two and, and now we'll just go set work plane make sure that it's set at level two go rectangle and uh, if you can't see anything just go here to wireframe okay now you can see it better so just create a rectangle that's kinda going from here to here and just make sure that this distance over here that's at point let's say point 8 is same as over here so point 8 and do the same distance for this one over here point or let's do one yeah let's make it a bit larger okay so we have that this is at level two then go set work plane pick a plane and you pick this over here this little uh, face of this bar line I guess you would call it and then create a rectangle on the inside kinda like that and now you're just going to 3d and as you can see we've got this rectangle over here just hold control select this one go create form bam there you go so we have our little window portion and I'm kinda annoyed that this is going at the wrong angle so I'm just going to select this and ever so slightly extend it so it looks kinda vertical-ish maybe a bit more I don't know I'm a, I'm a bit OCD sorry okay and do the same thing over here I mean you don't have to I, I, I just feel compulsed to do it okay so that's done and you just go finish mass so we've got this mass but mass isn't really any good if we don't cr turn it into a some architecture parts or components so let's just go here to massing and site go to curtain systems and here for this curtain system change this spacing to one meter and this one you change to something large like five meters you go apply okay and now we just go around select these three faces so these three and go create system and we have these vertical planes like this next thing we need to, something to cover all of this now I prefer using uh, walls instead of roofs because roofs have some problems when the roof is vertical it, it gives you all sorts of problems walls are I guess a lot more uh, flexible you would say so just go to architecture wall edit type duplicate create new wall call it roof who cares edit type um, make it smaller 0.1 meter that's 10 centimeters and let's use some gray color so let's type in gray and let's see do we have some gray plastics du -du 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 -du. plastic gray okay so let's do this gray plastic replace I don't care okay Great plastic, apply, okay, 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 I mean it's a McDonald's, the food is plastic, roof can be plastic as well. So you go to massing and site, you go to wall, and we've got our roof wall, and you just go all the way around, placing this on these three edges, I guess, on top as well, and here on this 
bottom part. Can I select it? No, I cannot. Okay, we're going to use something different for that. And uh, let's see. So let's just go and turn this to realistic just to see what we have. Okay, so we have something that looks like this. Now I want to have this edge that's surrounding the whole thing glowing. So for that I need a new wall. So go architecture, wall, edit type, duplicate, type in glow. Hit OK and go search. And just from plastic, let's go here to glass. And you've got this high luminance white and just go to appearance and see this it has self illumination and you can change this to some colors so let's change it to yellow and change this to yellow ish as well so just go apply ok 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 and just go to massing and sight and you find wall and you just go hit here 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 and here so we have this illuminated wall uh, yeah wall edge roof edge going all the way around and now for the most important part how could i forget the famous mcdonald's arches so how do you do them you go to level one and you go to architecture you go to component you go to model in place and let's search for generic models let's search for this select this generic model one for the name who cares and let's go reference plane and let's just place a reference plane kind of over here call it arch and let's go to south elevation and for this arch I found the best way to create this arch is to go to create extrusion and pick a plane by name and the name is arch and now go and use this ellipse tool and for the ellipse or you can use this partial ellipse and you can kinda create this partial ellipse and then you can kind of play around with it, let's say five and then you kind of move it in place let's do eight try six okay this is turning out to be okay let's just go into MV and yeah so you place your ellipse like that you do an offset or maybe make it a bit higher and come on nine mm, 8.5 yeah 8.5 will do okay so now you just use the offset tool give it an offset of 0.6 and do that and then let's just connect these oops yeah so connect them with no offset okay and once we're finished you just hit finish okay something is wrong here Okay, we need these two ellipses going a bit down and kind of connect this. So you just use the tab key just to connect everything kind of like that. Yeah, this works now, so just go finish. Okay, so we've got our arch and as you can see it's going to the wrong direction. So just select it and type in here minus 25 or you can do minus 0.3 I think that's better okay and let's make it yellow so by category type in yellow yellow submarine okay so so we've got this arch go back into level one DM for draw mirror and you just mirror to the other side go into 3d this is what you get and let's just hit finish mass and you can use some uh, light material over here and to do that you would just go here into edit in place go create extrusion set work plane pick a plane okay pick this plane and then just give it an offset of 0.1 I guess kind of like this and you would close it with maybe this line yeah so you just go split line and then you use trim and extend oh you can't use trim and extend for these ellipse lines okay so you would fix this by I guess you would need to create some sort of an arc from here to here. Yeah, you need to go to south elevation. And yeah, this this turned out a bit more complex. So kind of go like this and then you would need to go maybe even a spline.
and do another spline over here. Of course, try to follow this line a bit better than I did, but you get the point. And then you need to select these lines and kind of change their distances a bit. Okay, let's just hit finish. Okay, you get the point. So you do something like that and you change the extrusion to something way smaller, so 0 0.05 and make sure that this is that glowing material. Glass high luminance, yeah, that's that material. So you get the point. So you do something like that, go into level 1, the M for draw mirror, mirror to the other side and you have it now on both sides. And let's go into level 1, let's finish this architecture, let's add a floor around this whole thing with an offset of 1 meter, kind of like that. And you go do something like this. Let's see. Okay, this is turning out quite cool. And let's add some, uh, w some color for these walls. Now, we don't have really any red white stripe color so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be creating a new material so what you need to do is you need to go to uh, to select this one of these generic basic walls go into edit type edit edit the material here and let's search for some wall material let's see let's use just basically any material you you find so let's yeah let's do this clad white Okay, so go to appearance and okay, we can't use this. We need some material that actually has an image. Let's try this. Okay, this has an image. So we can now change this image for this material. Go to desktop and here I've got this uh, red white stripe material and you open this up, go into edit image and I just downloaded this. You just type in red white stripe texture and this is what you get when you google it and here for scale let's do something like I don't know 3 meters by 3 okay and here just need to see scene and try walls and let's see what this looks like okay this looks quite alright let's just go into edit image uh, rotate it by 45 degrees or by 90 degrees to have it going like this and maybe make it a big bit bigger so let's do 4 by 4 yeah, this looks all right. So go apply, okay, apply, okay. And here we go. Here is our cool material. And just let's add a ceiling over here or a floor. So to do that, we can just select this floor, go copy, paste, align to selected levels, level two. So now it's here and let's just go edit boundary and kind of bring it in over here and bring it in on the sides. Okay, this is where it should be going. Okay, if you're doing this in real life, I guess you would be a lot more precise. But in the interest of saving time, let's just make it quick and just finish this. Nope. And uh, you just hit here offset of 0.15 just to make it go a little above. Okay, so this looks quite cool right now. So let's go into level one. Let's place a camera and do a rendering just to see what this would look like. So just go like this, maybe angle it a bit up. Let's rotate a bit. Okay, so this is a cool angle. And before we render, just turn off show mass and maybe make this a bit smaller. And just hit double R for render. Let's go with medium and printer yeah let's let's make it larger so let's do I don't know 300 pixels yeah yeah this will look cool so let's try rendering okay and here you go this was a quick way to create a cool little McDonald's building in Revit okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you for watching if you stick through the end please like and share this video and of course please subscribe and if you have any questions comments or suggestions leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and i will see you tomorrow